What's up guys? Here's a couple of stories from last week that either caught my eye or made me laugh. I'll give you a hot take and a couple of thoughts and then we'll move on to the next story. Sound good? The best thing that happened this week was Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan. And the best part of that was when he started talking about orgasms and Neuralink. Imagine if uh, the virtual orgasm was a hundred times better than oh, a regular orgasm. Yeah, I got news for you on that front. Oh. We can, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the point being, you know, Neuralink's gonna be awesome. Just oh, you'll uh, love it. <laughs> Money back guarantee. <laughs> but a lot of people are understandably super scared about Neuralink, and Elon understands why. I think it would be problematic if we pinned you to the ground and put it in. <laughs> See, Elon gets it. No mandatory brain implants. He's a man of the people. He's doing his research. He's playing Cyberpunk 2077. I was playing Cyberpunk, the game, and I'm like, oh, geez, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is pretty close to home here, you know? <laughs> like, is this where it leads? It might, it might lead there eventually. I'm just saying for right now, it's gonna help people who really need it. Look, the argument for Neuralink is that if technology is going to continue to advance and, you know, it's pretty much unstoppable, if it's gonna advance, Neuralink is one of the only ways to go along for the ride, to not be left in the dust, to not become simply pets or to even be exterminated. An argument against Neuralink is kind of a moot point. A real argument against Neuralink would be against technology advancement at all. That's not me or anyone watching this channel or at least subscribers, but I do know people and you probably know people who think that 5G is causing coronavirus. You could have like a 5G uh, tower that's uh, <laughs> the ones that aren't causing corona. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when technology is magic, then you don't know what to believe. You know? Right, and when you're a moron, you believe anything. <laughs> I've actually done a bunch of research on the subject when I first started making videos. I did one for Subverse. It's Tim Pool, uh, Tim Cast. I did a video for them all about 5G and the conspiracy theories. Spoiler, sleeping just feet away from a 5G antenna has the same cancer rating as drinking coffee or eating pickles. If you have a very short wavelength or high frequency photon, that is capable of uh, causing DNA damage. But we're talking about like ultraviolet and beyond. Your phone's not even close. The most they can do is slightly warm up your ear. And only by a tiny amount. It's like, it's like, okay, if you had an ear warmer that was very mild, that's your phone. That sounds delightful. All right, I highly recommend you watch the entire podcast. Joe Rogan's only on Spotify. If you want to get Spotify completely reimbursed, you could sign up for this crypto card. It gives you Netflix and Spotify completely free. There's also a bunch of other great benefits, not to mention we both earn 25 bucks if you sign up with my link in the description. Anyway, let's move on. The next headline is scientists teach pigs how to play video games. Wrong picture. There we go. And pigs are good at it. Yeah, the biggest surprise was uh, they were nice to all the hookers. They only drove the speed limit and they only killed in self-defense. Pigs are surprisingly good people. Oh, that's right, this study taught us zero. I think they just had withdrawals from all the headlines they got when Elon trotted out those Neuralink pigs and they thought they could cash in again. Guys, Elon put a computer in a pig's brain. You put a joystick on a snout. If you're not putting a chip in an animal's brain, you're, just, you're wasting time. This was a remedial fourth grade science project at best. This next story is about building a better brain, but a quantum brain. This article from Singularity Hub says that a quantum brain would mimic our own to speed up AI. This team has potentially figured out a way to make a quantum computer that doesn't require sub-zero freezing temperatures. Plus, this article is not just about theory. They actually did some real-world tests. They fabricated a system that overlays multiple cobalt atoms on top of a superconducting surface of black phosphorus. Then they tested whether they could induce firing and networking between the cobalt neurons and if it was possible to embed information in the atom's spin states. And the clear answer, yes. 
They say unless you're in the lithium battery or paint business, you probably don't know about cobalt, but cobalt is the key to making this new kind of computer, one that combines quantum mechanics with the brain's inner workings. Great, now if we could just figure out how to mine cobalt without destroying the Congo's toddler's lungs, we could have super brains. Of course, it would take super brains to figure out how to do that. I know, we could mine cobalt. <sighs> Last story, we're going to Mars. There's a couple of probes out there that are gonna land soon. The one I should be talking about is the one with the copter on it. They're gonna fly a copter on Mars, it's historic. But the one I wanna talk about is the United Arab Emirates Mars Lander. The United Arab Emirates has a Mars Lander. Okay, what's more historic, that NASA is gonna fly a helicopter on Mars or that the United Arab Emirates are even there? I find it hilarious that a country where human rights are more of a suggestion than anything, where wives are considered property still, where being homosexual could get you stoned to death, this country has a space mission called Hope. Who's Hope? What are they hoping for on Mars? Maybe they're hoping that they don't find anything gay going on. They're just hoping they don't have to stone anyone on Mars. I know. They're hoping to find all their escaped wives. That's it for this week. If there's stories you want me to cover or jokes you want to pitch, hit me up on Twitter or come hang out on Discord. And if you want to support the show, consider joining the awesome community on Patreon. There's also a bunch more ways in the description down below. Otherwise, just click one of these other videos to stay up to date on how technology is changing everything. Thanks for watching. Peace.